we're going through the most radical transformation in the workplace in the last 30 years, and nobody in Washington seems to be talking about it. 25 folks running for president, and I don't think any of them have mentioned the gig or sharing economy. So I started drilling down a little bit and saw that this disaggregation between the employer and the employee is completely changing the nature of what we call the social contract. You know, our parents' generation usually worked for the same firm for 40 years and they got a pension, they got benefits, and they had some kind of social contract. Our generation, I think, has changed a little bit. We got defined contribution rather than defined benefit 401ks. This next generation, where they are in this sharing economy, the millennials, 80 million strong, they have no safety net at all. So no unemployment, no workman's comp, no disability. And I think as policymakers, we need to start thinking through some of these questions. So the government didn't cause this trend, and the government right. isn't going to stop this trend. Right. So what is the government's role? What should the government be thinking about or doing because of this really fundamental change for a lot of American workers? Well, I think we have to recognize that if there is no safety net, somebody who may be doing very, very well as a you know, Etsy seller and Airbnb user and, and Uber driver and part-time consultant, they're doing fine, but if they hit a rough patch, they have nothing to stop them until they fall, frankly, back upon government assistance programs. So is there a way to rethink the social contract in this new gig economy?